Hi guys, Lee here. I just wanted to put together a brief presentation on binary trading. Getting lots of questions regarding our course and what is binary trading. So I thought I'd put together this presentation so you can take a look. Um, I've been trading binaries for many years now uh, through IG Index. Their binaries are pretty good. There's lots of binary brokers opening up all over, uh, seems to be all over Europe, especially in places like um, Greece, Cyprus, uh, Malta, places like that. Um, and, you know, people are asking the question, are these companies um, safe? Are they any good with their products? Are their products um, um, trustworthy? Are they not uh, Are they not being scammed? So, um, the answer to that really is, you know, um, I, I would sort of trust a, a company like IG and some of the bigger uh, binary uh, options, binary forex, whatever you want to call them, that are uh, coming up all over, appearing all over, all over Europe now. But let's not talk about the brokers. Let's talk about what binaries are and, and you know what, uh, how you can sort of trade them. And you know, the thing with binary options is, I, I actually love trading with binaries. Um, you know, there's several reasons why people go over to binaries. But with binaries, you know, there there's there's this certainty that not certainty you're going to have a winning trade, but certainty of knowing how much you're going to make and how much you're going to lose. However, um, some people um, that have sort of declining equity curves, uh, if you are one of those people, then binaries may be for you. If you keep on getting stopped out of the trade, you know, you're putting your trade in the wrong place only for it to uh, reverse and go in the direction you thought it would do, binaries may be for you. Uh, emotionally sabotaging trades. Now, what I mean by that is you may have heard this in um, human psychology that you sabotage yourself when things go wrong. Well, you know, in trading as well, you can sabotage your trades. What does that mean, Lee? Well, basically, if you are, you know, you've had a series of uh, drawdown of, of some losing trades, and then suddenly you get a nice winning trade. Um, that you don't let those profits run, and you basically just cut those profits short, and you know you um, don't give the trade a chance to make back all your losses on your previous trades. So you're sabotaging. You know you're working the opposite way round to what successful traders do. They let their profits run and cut their losses short. Okay, so that's what you do. And a lot of people do that. I did that when I first started trading. You know you feel as though when you get a profit, you've got to grab that profit straight away because you've had a couple of losing trades. That's not right. And, and maybe binaries may be for you when it comes to that. Now, we all know what the success of trading is. Trading, bottom line, is how you follow a set of rules every single time to make consistent profits. Now, the problem is here, with as, 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 as a human being, somebody who's got a pulse that's got emotion and remember, it's impossible to get rid of those emotions unless you're trading mechanically. That you know you are going to um, maybe break some of those, those rules and not follow those rules. Well, maybe binaries may be for you when it comes to that because we've all broken the rules in our trading. It's just when you start making consistent profits that um, you stop breaking the rules. But we've got to get you to make consistent profits and build that confidence first. So why trade binaries? The thing is here, guys, there's a simple yes or no or a true or false outcome. You can either or here. It can either come true. You know, let's say we, we say that, that it's going to rain today. Um, that's either going to come true or it's going to be false. Okay, It's either going to rain or it's not going to rain today. And you know, if I bet on a price that it is going to rain today and it does rain, then I'll make money. If it doesn't rain, I won't make any money. So that's a, a true or false outcome, same with binaries. Um, you can use it for high probability trading, and some of these trade strategies I use make some very nice profits using the binaries. You get some very, um, a lot of good results with your binaries because they're more consistent. Um, your boundaries are set at the start, so you know how, mu how much you're going to lose. It's impossible to lose any more. Okay, and it's impossible to make any more than your maximum loss or profit. Um, there's less opportunity to sabotage the trade here and sabotage yourself. Okay, there's boundaries set already, so you can't exactly start moving your stop losses. It gives you time to be profitable, so 
what I mean by that is that if you do a, a trade where you think um, the price is going to close at a certain area, you know, there is no sort of time limit on it. There's, a, there's one time limit when the, bi the binary will close, but you've got all day for that to come true, okay? Even if it drops 50 points against you or 50 pips against you, you've still got a chance for that to come true. So it gives you time for it to come true. Uh, you can sell your position at any time if you want to. All right, so you can sell the trade uh, and still risk 20 pips on the trade or 20 points on the trade. You can sell it at any time, but you know your maximum risk before you start. You can enter with small position sizes for large profits as well. There's no stops required, so that takes away automatically the, um, the, 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 the struggle that you have with where do you place your stops. Biggest question I get at Trading College, where do you place your stop, Lee? Where do you enter the trade? Where do you take profits? One of those is where do you place your stop? So no need to have that anymore. So you know your maximum loss on the outset, and that could be less if you do close the trade off early. Now, that is um, one thing that, you know, we that is one thing with binaries which is great because let's say you were trading um, currency or uh, a st US stock and you know you didn't realize it the US stock had an earnings report coming out after the close and you know the the market gaps down against you here well if you had spread bet in this market spread bet in that stock you know unless you've got a guaranteed stop in place the market's gonna gap below your stop and you're gonna lose even more on the trade alright so but with binaries, you know your maximum loss on the trade. So has trading been a challenge for you? Has it, you know, and it has for a lot of people, guys. Trading is a challenge for a lot of people. And for a lot of people, it's it's easy. And the people do it do great out of it. But for a lot of people, you know, it is a challenge. So putting these boundaries in place for you with binaries may be the answer for you to start turning that corner. Now, remember what I said here. A binary can either go to zero or one hundred. Now, if I bet on that the, that the British pound is going to go to one fifty-seven, you know, place a trade by a certain date or a certain time throughout the day. If that comes true, my my binary will go to one hundred, and I will make money. If it doesn't come true by that time, then at the outset, uh, at the end of that, it will go to zero, so I lose money. Now, in between, there is a price being made all the time depending on where the actual British pound is actually trading okay if it's likely to come true the binary price will be up here near near the 90s if it's going to come tr if it's going to come force it'd be down here at 15 15s and maybe at, at, at 8 okay because it's closer to coming through this side so that's a binary it can only go to 100 or to 0 but there is a price in between now let's look at this um, today on cable now, um, I was looking at this this morning. The price was around this 152.60 area here on cable. Now, as the price collapsed here, here's a binary ticket in IG. It says here the pound US dollar to be above 152.60 at 4 p.m. today, GMT. Now, as the price was trading up here this morning, the binary price was around this 51 area, okay? 51. You could have sold it for 51. So I didn't think that the pound would be above 152.60 by 4 p.m. Now, if you sell that at 51, this is where the binary was trading later on this afternoon after when it, when it actually dropped like this. The binary was now at 6.1 and 1.8. So if you then to the 51, there's your actual area here where you know it could uh, you could actually buy back and make a profit 51 minus 6.1 on the trade okay so that will that would have been your profit but what would have happened here if it would have carried on going higher well you'll have seen this binary here go to you know 80 90 nearly 100 and the closer it gets to 4 p.m you would have seen that getting very close to 100 okay because it was coming true. The cable to be above 152.60 by 4 p.m. It was coming true. Remember, if it comes true, it goes to 100. So on this trade here, which is pushing down, you're making around 44, 45 pips on this trade as it comes down, 45 points. And you know you can close that trade off anytime you want. Now, if it comes near it to 4 p.m., let's say this is 4 p.m. here, 
and we're trading down here still, this binary, the odds of this binary going to zero are huge. Okay, to have a sort of a, a hundred pip rally um, within a few minutes is highly unlikely. All right, so you can let this expire to zero. You'd have made a total of 51 pips on this trade. All right, so that's just the example of today. And how did I know this was going to come down? Well, it was a trading strategy that I use all the time, knowing that the price will come down. Now, what would have happened? Let's get rid of this drawing. What would have happened if the price would have gone up here as soon as I shorted at 51? Okay, it clicked on the sell button right here. Well, this binary would have gone up in value and I'd started to lose money. Now, it doesn't mean I would have lost money. It means I was losing money at that time. Now, if that had gone up here at, let's say, 12 o'clock, I've still got f f four hours for it to come below this area for me to make some money. Now, f those four hours are on my side, aren't they? You know, guys, because if I shorted here originally and had a 20 pip stop, which is probably the average most people put stops at, around 20, 15 to 20 pips, depending on the time frame they're trading. If it went up there, I've been stopped out, let's say 20 pips. My trade would have been closed and that would have been it all over. But with a binary, you know, I was still giving it room and a chance for it to trade below this 152.60. Okay, and it could have carried on higher if it wanted to. It, could have, it couldn't have gone any further than 100. All right, and then it could have collapsed and I still could have made money. The thing is here, I'm giving myself a chance to make money now and I'm also knowing my maximum risk on the trade. All right, so there's other types of binaries, you know, not just ones like tunnels and ladders like I was just showing you. But here is the pound to touch 152. 20. This was one yesterday, in fact. Pretty easy trade. Now, you can see here, look, it closed at 100. Okay, look, this here is telling us, you know, you need to phone up or it's actually closed. But here, it closed at 100. If I'd have actually placed a trade here, which I did uh, uh, to touch, and, you know, it now closed at 100, which was a 29 point move. Okay, for me on that trade. Here's that one once again, that 152.20. This is the area we were looking at it today. Um, it was, in fact, a little bit less than this. It was 51 to buy, um, 50, beg your pardon, 51 to sell this, okay, because we thought it wouldn't be above 152. And you can see that it's all the way down to like 6 uh, and, and 5 now. All right, so if you were trading this, you know, if your entry was at 52, you can exit the trade at any time you want at if you exit it, exit it at 12 you'd make a 40 pip profit on this trade at 10 pounds a point that's 400 pounds profit on that trade now remember if you'd have been had a stop in place and been stopped out you know you'd have lost money on that trade the trade would have been closed you're looking to re-enter again and that would have, would have been it all over and done with okay but at least you're giving yourself a chance to make money with these binaries now this is what I was looking at yesterday. This is one of my range charts in the British pound. And remember, you can do this at any on any time frame, guys. It doesn't have to be on scalping one-minute charts. It can be on a weekly chart as well if you want to. I was looking at the euro yesterday, and it come down here. As it was falling like this, okay, as it was falling down here, I was looking to buy okay, a binary that price would have traded above here okay, and closed above there. I could have done several things. I could have bought a binary that it would trade above this area, which it did by the end of the close, or I could have traded a binary that it wouldn't close below this area here. And that's exactly what I did. And I spoke about this at Scan Club last night. You know, as it was coming down and falling like this, I was then I had plenty of opportunities to place um, one touch binaries where it touched the high here. I could have actually placed a trade where it says it won't close below here. I could have said it. Uh, I could have placed a trade that it will close above here. All right, so that was a really nice trade. Then go back to the day before, as prices are coming down here, you're looking to actually as prices going up. Okay, don't get sucked into putting the binary thinking it's going to carry on going up here. I'm looking for this reversal and getting odds which are much greater. I.e., I want to be placing odds um, trades that are around the 80 mark. What I mean by that is selling the actual binary 80. 
so my maximum risk is 20 points and my profit is 80 points the only way you can do this if you look for these reversals that I'm talking about because what it would say here is that as the price is going up here if I was looking for a, um, uh, uh, a uh, an actual ladder here saying that the I think the euro is going to trade above 129 and close there well as it goes up here guys that 129 is coming closer the binary will be up at like 70 80 because it's coming true isn't it yep but what I want to be doing is shorting these binaries here ie saying I don't think it's going to close above 129 okay and when it gets to about this 80 area I'm looking to short it alright so catching that reversal so the odds are huge you're losing 20 to make 80 on the trade now remember you can close that trade off any time you want to as well same in this area here same in this area here a little bit later on in the day but this is what I'm going to teach on the Forex and binary course and you know ways of and opportunities to catching these 80 pip moves 80 point moves whatever you want to call them and getting these reversals okay knowing high probability reversal errors we're going to concentrate on the euro we're going to concentrate on the British pound and we're going to come specialists at these markets okay so let's look at some other things here you know check charts for high probability trade setup okay in a brokerage select binary option type so we're looking for the expiry and a price a ticket okay now we look at the entry position we put in our pounds per point and then we place the trade you now in the trade immediately review the trade according to the expiry deadline remember that expiry each binary will have a deadline okay a time factor each option will have a time factor filtered into the actual price now you need to you know if you're if if it's a binary that's going to close at 8 p.m. today in, and you think it's going to close at one to over 129 it's traded at 128.50 you've got 50 pips to make up in the next few minutes you know that's not going to happen okay but there's some really easy money to be had so you know if that binary is trading at 95 okay and there's 10 minutes to go you know, the likelihood of that closing at 100 is a huge higher probability okay now, if trade reaches desired outcome before expiry, you can decide whether you want to close that position off. So it doesn't have to go to 100. You can close that position off any time you want to to take that profit if you're happy with those profits. You can hold until the expiry deadline when it will close automatically, either at 100 or at zero. So here's uh, just an example of IG, and there's plenty of binaries. You can do 20-minute binaries, five-minute binaries, commodities, you've got Forex, hourlies, stock indices, FTSE, Dow, Wall Street, um, S&P, NASDAQ, you've got binary shares, binary specials, you can make up prices you want, politics, not interested, um, and there's lots of option prices down here which are different from the binaries. But we're going to concentrate on the euro USD, the pound and the commodities as well okay because there's some very nice opportunities to be had in those alright so that's just with IG there are different brokerages out there here's the FTSE and you can see here the FTSE you know trying to make a bit of a high we had some divergences setting up up here today and you know there was a binary price FTSE to be above 67.50 at 3 p.m. now look at the actual price it's 70 to 75 for it to come true okay so if I thought this is going to come true I would buy at 75.7 maximum loss on the trade if I was short in this ie if I click the sell button in here this will be 29 points okay maximum profit is 70 pips a 10 pounds per point that's 700 pounds profit so, so you're losing 299 pounds on that trade okay so if the FTSE did in fact fall below this 67.50 alright so there's plenty of ways you can trade it you can use divergences as well which are great to actually trade with I'm using a 240 minute chart here you see as price makes new highs here our divergences are coming down on price the indicator is getting lower okay we can place some binary trades that we're gonna close below these areas and drop below these areas over the next few days you know you can do weekly binaries as well 
So using these binary trades, you know, as price as price is going up here, as price is making new highs, we're seeing these divergences. We're going to run out of steam sooner or later, and this comes down. Okay, you're going to get binaries up in the 70 to 80 area potentially. All right, so you can be short in these and be doing one touch trades as well. We're going to be teaching all this on the Forex binary course. And you can see here, nice divergence there yesterday, pushed up into, sorry, the day before yesterday, pushed up yesterday for a nice profitable trade. You could be using binaries to take these trades. I think the great thing about the binaries is that you don't need a stop in place. You know, there could be times where price goes up here, spikes you out by one pip only for it to reverse and go lower. You're not going to get that in binaries. You're not. You're going to be still in the trade. Um, here was uh, gold today and you can see this massive divergence play in here and you could have sold a binary. We pushed higher here to 1400 and it sold off and it's way down here now. All started from divergence. You could have used a binary. So these binaries allow you to trade big volatile markets like the gold and oil markets. The risk is capped. All right, so you can trade. This is an IG chart. You could do it in IG as well. Use their charts if you wanted to. Now, here's one thing that people don't realize that you could use, if you're swing trading the markets, you can use a binary as a stop loss. You can use options as stop losses. You can use binaries as stop losses. So let's say we get a sell signal here on our system. It pops high, just stops you out slightly here, then it continues in the direction and it's up around 300 to 200 pips on this trade. Now, if you got stopped out with a hard stop, you'd be so disappointed that it moved lower, okay? What you can do, you can use binaries as a one touch, okay, as your stop. So as it goes up here, your trade, your initial trade is losing money. This trade here is making you money. If it touches here, you make on your binary and you lose on your original swing trade. Well, isn't that better than just losing 100% on your swing trade? At least you make some money on your one touch. And this is what I'm going to be talking about on the course, showing you how to hedge your positions, how to use binaries as stop losses, because it really could change your trading route. Now, we're going to specialize in the euro pound, cable, FTSE 100, gold and oil. We're going to add to other those markets when you get good at this and when you start to make consistent profits. But specialize in these markets, you've got plenty of opportunities, plenty of profits to be had in these currency pairs and these markets, these instruments like the FTSE, gold and oil. Okay, And the gold and oil, normally they're too big and too volatile for people to trade. Now with the binaries, it allows you to trade these markets. So of course, you're going to learn how to uh, trade binaries and FX options and how they're priced. How to get binaries at 80% profit, okay, so priced at 80% or 80. How to head swing trades, going to show you in detail how to do that. How to day trade for early morning profits, so you can be done pretty early in the morning and uh, be out and done and dusted on your trades. What markets to specialize in and learn to minimize, you know, learn to minimize stressful trading and reduce sabotaging style trading. This is probably the biggest thing. You know, you are a human being. <laughs> you will make mistakes trading if there's too many boundaries, okay? And you will break your rules if there are too many boundaries, okay? As in, what I mean by that is if the boundaries are too wide. All right? If we can narrow those boundaries down and stop you putting your own um, angle on things and too many opportunities for you to sabotage your trade or cut losses too early, then you know we've got a good chance to go on to be a profitable trader okay so this is the course this is the course coming up it is on our trading uh, college website guys uh, there are some places left so make sure you jump on that that is the 22nd of june i think it is check out the details on the binary course and um, i hope it helps and if you've got any questions just send an email over to lee at tradingcollege.co.uk and i'll gladly answer any of those questions for you. Otherwise, I'll see you this weekend at the Traders Coffee Morning. Hope it helps, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll speak to you soon. Take care.